Inside of my Acme directory, I have a class called foo, and it contains one non-static method, and that's called bar. Now inside our default root, I'm instantiating foo and returning foo bar. And we're getting this result. Now, let's see what happens if we call this statically. As you can imagine, we get this error. But what if we could make it work and still allow for it to be called this way? Well, let's take a look at that. The first thing that we need to do is create a new facade directory inside of our Acme folder. And inside here, we're going to create a file called foo. So we're going to set the namespace to Acme facade. And we're going to create a class called foo. And it's going to extend illuminate support facades facade. Now this needs to contain one static method. And that's called get facade accessor. And here we just return a simple string. This doesn't have to be the same, the name of the class. It could be anything because we're going to bind this to our application in a minute anyway. So let's close this. Let's go to our roots file and we're going to say app bind foo. And we're going to pass a closure and return new uh, acme foo. And again, you'd probably want to extract this into a service provider, but for now, let's keep it simple. So finally, what we have to do is add our facade to our app file. So down here at the bottom of our aliases, we're going to set foo to acme facade foo. Let's hit refresh. And we need to add something here. So return foo bar. Hit refresh and we get foo bar. 